Scott's hometown, I was nervous and worried about meeting his family. Walter's mother was friendly, but I wondered if she was wishing that Walter had married an American girl. The others were nice to me too. city which was to be my new home. Mrs. Ratz had been living alone since Walter's father died and we were going to stay with her until we could get a home of our own. As I looked around me, I was frightened. In this house, I would have to face a new life, very different from the one we had known in Japan. The next evening, Walter invited his family to come to the house and see the pictures he had taken in Japan. I was still uneasy because I wasn't sure these people liked me. Something unpleasant happened to me that night. Walter's cousin telephoned, and Mrs. Ratz wanted me to introduce myself. English was hard for me then, especially on the telephone. And what I expected happened, I couldn't understand a word. I knew there was no reason to be upset, but I felt stupid and ashamed. I took this picture of Miwako on our wedding day. This is Miwako's hometown, where we met. And this is her mother. Miwako took this picture of me near Mount Fuji. One thing that especially intrigued me was bamboo. This is Miwako and I just after we became engaged. And this is a picture of Miwako's family. 
taken the day we were married. The picture show was almost like introducing Miwako's family to my own. anything else, I wanted my mother to accept Miwako and to like her, especially because the two would often be alone together while I was away on business. One thing was sure, the children liked her. I could see Miwako was relaxed and happy. Now she was teaching the kids a Japanese game. Next day, I introduced Miwako to my town. I was a little nervous for her sake because I knew that an American with a Japanese wife would attract attention on the street. get a look of real resentment from one woman. She had lost a son at Iwo Jima. Miwako was disturbed, but when I explained, she understood. I knew she was still feeling a little strange, and I thought some new clothes might make her feel better. So we went shopping. The day came, two weeks later, when Walter had to go away on business. The okay, case snapped shut. Being without him. Walter's mother would be with me, but my poor English made it hard for us to talk. And we did not know each other yet.
became homesick for Japan and my own mother. I remembered our house, the voices of my brothers and sisters. I remembered home. if Walter, 300 miles away in another city, was as lonely as I was. My trip was over and I came home. I could hardly wait to see Miwako. Although Miwako tried to conceal it, I could see that she'd been desperately lonely while I was away. More than anything else, I wanted her to be happy. One thing was clear. I would have to have a different job. One that would not take me away from Miwako. But what job? carvings seem so simple. Maybe we could even make them ourselves. Miwako thought it would be fun to try. That night, Miwako wrote to her brother asking him to send us some raw bamboo. Weekends and evenings, Miwako and I experimented.
Little by little, we improved on our first crude attempts. became so interested in what we were doing that we lost all track of time and often worked late into the night. Finally, we were so pleased with our work that I decided it might be saleable. A friend of ours owned a small house furnishing store and had offered to try selling the things for us. sold so quickly that we could hardly make them fast enough. 